Well, huge news dropped in the Call of the Wild world today. The official trailer for Reventuli Coast, along with a release date, both were posted on the Expansive World YouTube channel. And before we go any further, we'll take a look at that brand new trailer. When the Ice Age ended, our country was formed. Where water meets skies, you'll find the coast of the Northern Light. Welcome to Finland. About 10,000 years ago, the Ice Age left all kinds of things to discover here in Finland. And ever since then, people have been leaving their mark too. Of course, you're here to hunt. And at this time of year, you'll see whitetail, moose, brown bear, and even lynx. After the sun goes down, you're likely to find the infamous raccoon dog. But you won't forget the first time you spot a white willow ptarmigan from the shore, Eurasian teal on the water, or hear the unique mating call of a copper kailie. Whatever game bird you're looking for, there is a good chance you'll find it here. If you're lucky, you might even see the Northern Lights. So let me be the first to welcome you to Finland and to the coast of the Northern Light. Welcome to Rebontuli Coast. Now you may have watched that and are wondering where the release date is, and I had the exact same experience until I looked in the description of the trailer, and right at the end of what they've written there, releases on all platforms on June 28th. That is not next Tuesday, it's the Tuesday after that, 12 days from now, we'll all have Reventuli Coast, and I cannot wait. I mean, everything in that trailer, because we're here on Medved, We'll touch on the brown bear first, the new textures for brown bear fur, I just think they look incredible. Black bear got a bit of an overhaul with Mississippi, brown bear getting it with Reventuli Coast, I think they did a fantastic job. I can't wait to see all of the different fur types, because between the streams and the teaser trailer and the full trailer, I think we've only seen maybe two or three of the fur types, and we know brown bear have a whole lot. The bird species we got to see, one of the things I was most impressed with actually, was the geese animations on the ground and it's always cool to see when they fly along with the geese kind of what you don't normally get to see when hunting because you can't get that close naturally as they're flying by i just think the geese look incredible even the canada geese i don't know if they had any changes but they definitely look good in that little part of the trailer as well i just can't wait for this map i've been saying on stream to basically anyone who asks I think Reventuli Coast has a legitimate chance of being a top 3 map overall, mostly due to the waterfowl and what I believe is going to be a huge factor of replayability because of that waterfowl rework, and I just cannot wait. Every time I consider goose hunting in the last couple of weeks, I decide not to because I know what's coming with Reventuli Coast, and I know it's going to be so much better than our experience over on Hirschfeld now. And we know already 19 species. There is going to be so much to do between the waterfowl and the big game. I think they did a good job of spreading things around. We got to see in the trailer once again the Capercaillie is just walking around. I believe one of the ptarmigan species was in there as well. We've taken up close looks at their models, the detail that goes into the feathers. It really is incredible work and it's one of those things that just adds so much to your experience when hunting and of course for me, one of my main things is the trophy lodge. The amount of variety Reventuli Coast is going to add is massive. I know we've already touched on the brown bear, but with the opportunity to look at their models in-game as they currently are, and compared to what we see with the new textures in the trailer, we didn't do that when the teaser trailer came out or when the brown bears were shown on EW stream, so I just wanted to look at the models quickly and this is the fur type I want to see most with the new textures, the spirit brown bear. One of my favorites already, and definitely going to be something I target on Reventuli Coast, and I really wonder, 
Mississippi had a lot of things change with fur types and rarities. Spirit Brown Bear were not made rare. I wonder if there's a chance that could happen with Reventuli Coast. I feel like they're a fur type that's worthy of being a rare, so that could be a cool thing as well. But speaking of things that we haven't seen before, the Raccoon Dog. It was cool to get a quick up-close look at that in the trailer. I think that's going to be one of the more fun species to hunt, most likely one of the more difficult species to hunt. And in the trailer it was mentioned, after dark you're more likely to encounter them. And probably what you would expect, a lot of predator species, red fox, gray fox, Eurasian lynx that's around here on Medved Taiga, a lot of them are easiest to hunt at night. The mere idea of being able to shoot a raccoon dog or any species on Reventuli Coast and get a trophy shot under those northern lights. That could just be incredible, and that's something I'm really looking forward to as well. I thought it was neat in the trailer as well, speaking of things to maybe trophy shot under the northern lights, they showed the diamond moose out there. That's something I'm super excited about. I just think it's gonna be incredible, and we get to see this spirit brown bear here. I just think there's a lot more detail to the fur, like the individual hairs seem to be more visible there's more contrast to them i just think it's going to be such an immersive experience heading out there to reventuli but i think that's more or less going to wrap this up i didn't want to go too crazy with kind of diving into every single detail of that trailer i'll let that uh be a thing you guys can do if you want to look at that trailer more and more it'll be linked in the description to go and check it out on expansive world's channel and uh what more can i say i am so stoked for the release of Reventuli Coast, and finally we know when that is coming. We've been waiting for, I feel like, maybe about a month? And it's finally less than two weeks away. But anyway, that is going to do it for this video, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.